The Mad Anthony's Charity Classic for Children has been raising money for the Children's Hope House for years, but this year was a little different. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday was at Sycamore Hills today, and you talked with some fans about those changes. That's right, Alyssa. And for the first time, the charity event was a two-day event, and some LPGA golfers were also playing for money. Fans I spoke with today feel this charity event is important to raise money for a good cause, but also critical in possibly making a LPGA stop on their tour. For more than 50 years, Matt Anthony's has been raising some green on the green of Sycamore Hills Golf Course for Children's Hope House. Some families came for the charity, as well as making this a perfect outing for Dad on Father's Day. It's, it's great golf, and it's just a nice opportunity to spend time with my family. Families also came for the charity. This is Hope House's biggest donation drive. Hope House is for families with sick children with no place to stay. Running $90 a night per family, fans were glad to be a part of a worthy cause. With the Man Anthony's Tournament, it's just a really neat charity, a good organization. It's so great that we have them um, for all those parents with the little ones um, that go through such a hard time that they've got some place to go and feel like a family unit. The cause, the same, but the event itself this year was bigger. Two days instead of one, and some LPGA golfers on the course, which could set up the city for higher profile events in the future. And the community says it's a great showcase for the city. Just a great way to um, show Fort Wayne, um, show the, the uh, Midwest appeal of everything, um, and also to give um, the great community um, some great golf to watch. When you get good members from the LPGA to give up their time. You get good sponsors to put up uh, the prize money to, for them to come showcase Fort Wayne a little bit. Um, that we have great weather, that it happens to be Father's Day. It's just a lot of good things that happen at the same time. Butler basketball coach Brad Stevens was this year's Red Coat recipient. Thousands of dollars are raised for the Hope House each year. And coming up in sports, Joe will have more on today's classic. Okay, thank you very much, Lamar.